now to some incredible video that's getting a lot of attention today. Get in there and get them if they are. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. My gosh. There it is. Oh come on, get out. Get them out of the car. Unlock it. Pull the. Get door them out of the car. Oh hurry up, somebody who knows. Is someone under? Oh my gosh. Is someone under the vehicle? The bike is under. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Beneath that burning car is a young man trapped. Police say he deliberately swerved his motorcycle to avoid crashing into that car, but was instead sent flying beneath the hot metal. What happens next is just incredible. Trace Gallagher has more live from L.A. Trace? Happened right by Utah State University in Logan, Megan, and this guy's name is 21-year-old Brandon Wright, and he's driving his motorcycle down there, and to avoid that collision you talked about with the BMW, he lays the bike on its side. He begins sliding along the concrete at a very fast speed. The gas comes out of the tank. The sparks catch the gas. The bike catches flames, and you see right there goes right in between and underneath the BMW. Well, here's the deal. The deal is, is they had some bystanders over there. You heard the 911 call and the cell phone video. And you can see they're kind of going over this. This is before they pull them out. And there's a team effort. How do they get them? They get this guy, construction workers, students. They get everybody. They finally, after more than one minute, they were kind of deciding, do we back away from this thing because it's going to explode? They go after. They finally pull them out. And then when they pull them out, they let the car back down. You can see them kind of scatter away. Unclear what to do next, and they leave Brandon Wright sitting there. And then you'll see police officers come over, and they're clearly waiting for the first responders to get there to try and give him medical attention. He was and is in critical condition, but they do expect him to leave. He's got some broken bones, clearly some burns. Um, very unclear exactly what time the firefighters, the paramedics got there, but they did put out the fire. It took them one minute and 15 seconds, Megan, to get him out from beneath that car. Listen now to one of the heroes and the 911 call. It looks like someone may be even under the vehicle. It's Cars are burning, they're sent someone I saw a lot of blood, especially close to where, where is the close to head. Before I pull it, he wasn't breathing. When I pull it, he started to breathe. And now on the top of the whole thing is they want to find out, Megan, who those heroes are. They've identified some of them. They want to find all of them so they can say, hey, great job yeah. for getting this guy out because they really did save his life. So now they're in the process of looking for the rest of those heroes. What a picture that is. Look at that picture. Look yeah. at those people risking their own lives to save the life of that man who, who was a stranger to them. I mean, look how close they get to the flames. It really is And, and you don't know so if it's going to explode, right? Yeah, you have no idea if it's going to explode or not. So that's, yeah, yeah that's, that's a heroic We've effort. We've covered right enough uh, episodes, Trace, where, the, where they don't do that, you know, where they see, remember the one, I think it was out of Connecticut, where the man is sitting there and the traffic is going past and he's been hit. Right. Uh, that it, right. Is, it is very heartening, again, to see Americans behave that way. Trace, thank you. Yes.